Congratulations, you've played all right there, won 3 0, but you're probably thinking, it didn't feel like a 3 0 game, that. No, it didn't feel like a 3 0 game at all. Um, you know, I was a bit wary of Dave, playing David anyway because of, I know he can turn up and, and probably produce anything. You know, he, he, I honestly thought he, I know he can average like 110 and, and play brilliant, so, but also I know it was his debut. It's just, yeah, it's hard to, you know, try and work out. So I just concentrated on my own game a bit, but I'm just relieved to get through that game now, I can relax and first round's over, you know, I can uh, move on. A fourth campaign for you at the William L. World Championship, only your second win, so yeah. it's it, it's a big moment for you, even though you it have is, got a lot of experience in this sport. Yeah, yeah, it's a big moment for me, you know, I think that's why, I said to David after, I said, you know, I was, uh, not word large in it, I think it's wrong now, isn't it, but um, I was, uh, you know, trying to give it some, but it wasn't nothing against him. I said to him, you know, it's just, I think the World Championships is so important and I've never really had a, anything like a good run. So, um, you know, it, it just meant a lot more to me to, I, I don't know, I, I seem to show quite a lot more emotion in this game. We've seen you produce big results and have runs in other big TV <coughs> events, but doing it at, at this, yeah. the biggest tournament in the world, that's something that needs to happen if you're going to be big time dog player. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, I need to look. I want to progress in my career, and I've been working really hard. And I just think that this, this is the one that's going to as well. You know, especially this, the match play. But they're going to move you up in the world rankings. And I know that I need a run in a, a top TV event, something like this. And obviously, the world is uh, the most important thing for everyone. You know, we we all want to be world champion. And so yeah, um, you know. Well, you're going up against the reigning major champion in Jose de Souza next. Now, you've played him a few times, you beat him most recently. Yeah. But he doesn't have much experience in this tournament. Do you, you must fancy your chances of pulling off an upset. Yeah, I do. You know, I've, honestly, I, I keep concentrating on my own game at the moment. It's worked for the last, you know, six months. I'm not too fussed of who I play. Um, it's no disrespect to any of the players because I. If anything, it's uh, it's more respect because of, you know you haven't got an easy game wherever you go. So concentrate on your own game. Um, but yeah, Jose, I know he's playing fantastic, but he's he's quite inspiring as well. You know, I know he's working is working really hard on the practice board, and obviously it shows in he's uh, won the Grand Slam. Um, I've got a lot of res lot of time, a lot of respect for him. I think he's fantastic. If anything, he's uh, you know he's, he's making me want to do more. So, you know, yeah. And you know, you know you've made it as a dart player when you get a fancy shirt with a, with a monogram on the back of it. And you've ticked that <laughs> off the list now. Finally, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I've gone from the plain black shirt to, you know, I've got to say, nice here. Paul's darts have uh, sorted me something nice out. Um, to be fair, I was a pain for them. So they, they've done brilliant, you know, sorted me this out. You know, it's probably took me about two months because of me. I, I was like, Either, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we need. Ross, um, coming through one of the toughest first round ties on paper against the Challenge Tour winner, that must give you a real confidence boost. Yeah, without a doubt. You know, uh, again, you know, David Evans is, I, I know what he can do. Um, he's, he's fantastic, you know, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon with that win. You know, it's a hard first round, hard first round draw. We've seen some real good performances from you on the tour over the last few months and you're pushing the top towards the top 32 now. Do you feel like you're really on the cusp of something? Yeah, definitely. I'm doing things differently um, away from the, not just on the practice board. I'm doing a lot of different things on the practice board um, and also off the board, you know, I'm trying to keep fit, things like that. And I know it's all helping, but I'm working harder on the practice board than I ever have done. And it's getting the balance right, you know. So, uh, what works for you? But yeah, it's working well, and um, yeah, I'm happy. How important is that fitness aspect you mentioned there? Yeah, I think it's mega. You know, I'm, it felt like only yesterday that people were saying to me that I was the uh, sort of like one to watch and young player and things. I'm 31 now, you know, and I think to myself, oh, looking at King Barry, people like that, and you know, Bradley Brooks, and I think they're young lads, but I've got to keep fit, and you know, yeah, so. Keep, keep, keep yourself fit and you know you only live once don't you, you know. and, and Jose de Sousa up next do you feel like all the pressure will be on Jose as the seed and the Grand Slam champion the expectation will be on his yeah, shoulders without a shadow of a doubt without a shadow of a doubt um, 
but at the same time, at the end of the day, I, I know what I can do. Um, I've got, again, you know, uh, great respect for Jose, and uh, I think, if anything, he's helping me. You know, I, I don't speak to him all the time, but when I do speak to him, I've listened, I listen to a lot of players. It's not just Jose, but, you know, he's, he's a fantastic player, and um, I think he's an inspiration to a lot of other dark players. If anyone's coming through, you know, you look at people who have um, who are working hard at the game. Here, like I said earlier, Whitlock. You know, they're all working really hard. You know, and it's showing now. You know, simple as that. Perfect. Thanks, Ross. Ross, you say about players talking to you and, and sort of gaining tips off them. Are there any, any players that you've taken any particular things from? Um, no, especially no. I just, I just think, you know, it's it's strange, really. You, you know, you just be on the practice board. Have a little chat, and uh, yeah, you just you know you, you have a, a way you're living now, or you know you're travelling a lot, and yeah, that, that's all it is really. You know, there's no one in, uh, specifically. It just certain things like that just uh, connect you on a bit, you know. Uh, you talk about the fitness side. I think it's been brought more into into darts in the in the lockdown period. We've seen some of the top names trying to, to get into shape more. Yeah. How much of a difference does it make, even in these, these long format games? Yeah, I think it makes a, a massive difference, especially stamina-wise, you know. Um, I don't know, about 10 years ago, something like that, I was probably about 19 stone, um, really overweight. And, um, you know, yeah, I, I feel completely different now. You know, I'll, I'll go out running and things like that, and I feel completely, you know, I feel great when I go and play my games. Um, not not just physically, it's, it's mentally as well. It helps, and I, I think as the young players that are coming through, you, you've got to try and keep yourself a little bit fit. You know, or try and try and have a balance.